hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you uh, simple compositing techniques and make a creative poster or a funny wallpaper or you can do any kind of things with these type of techniques so let's start the tutorial before I start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so let's start going to the file and new and i'll take the artboard which is the 2560 and 1440 and give the name the apple and hit the create button you'll get a white background and after that i'll just go to the file and place embedded options i downloaded some png image from the keys png and i'll give you that download link in my video description so after that just right press and restylize the layer select this background layer and then adjustment and the gradient from the gradient select the violet orange and change the color suppose i want to change it like black uh, the peach black and hit ok and the orange to green you can use this green and hit the ok button and hit ok and here you have to adjust the settings so the style will be the radial and the angle will be zero degree and the scale will be around like that make it reverse and ether as well so you can make it more adjustable like that that's cool and then hit the ok button and after that take a new blank layer and go to the brush options select this brush first one and press once here and press press ctrl t make it a little bit bigger and make it like that and place over there and you can adjust the shadow and hit the tick button and after that take another blank layer and select once press ctrl t make it like that and just just position here and hit the tick button so our shadow and the fruit is ready and now time for adjusting this portion so like that go to the file and open up i'll open up another image i download this one from the same website and i'll give you download link in my video description so i'll take this part so how to do that you can use the lasso tool or you can use a quick selection tool but i am more comfortable with the lasso tool so carefully select this portion so like that yeah press the control button and hold it when you are getting the scissor sign and take this one and replace this in this window press the move tool and now i'll adjust it with this portion so now this is the time for adjusting so how to do that press the control button and you can match the perspective with the corners and you can make it bigger you can make it like that so make it rotation like that make it bigger like that and press right button and warp it and now it will be more easier to fit with the this actually so i'm making it bigger just because of i'll mask it out and then it will be match with these things so yeah that's good and hit the tick button after that down the opacity a little bit yeah that's good and now mask this one and go to the brush options just flow a little bit down and then brush make the smaller size of the brush and make it brush like that so i'm brushing the white portion yeah so yeah white portion just like that that's good no you have to take this one so press ctrl z ctrl alter z okay 
press ctrl t again and make it like that so right press again warp it and make it like this yeah that's good yeah hit the tick button press ctrl t and make it smaller like that so the corner of the orange will be like that so yeah that's good and now mask it press t and right press and warp and now adjust this one like that like this this portion so actually this portion like that and hit the ok button and then make it upper side like that so press T again and rotate this one and here is the edge of the apple a piece of apple and I'll adjust with that and it will be more easier to just cut it down so that's good and make it bigger now yeah make it smaller like that so you have to match the perspective and that's the work to do that if you can do that more precisely your design will be more valuable so like that and hit the tick button that's good i think yeah and now opacity up and down so i'll make it like that and then select the mask option go to the mask here and mask the that portion you want to delete or cut it out i'll keep the this portion it will make more exposure and i'll make it white so that's good the flow i'll reduce the flow and the upper side here here yeah that's good this portion and this portion as well okay now increase the opacity yeah here I will remove the this, this portion actually so just to make it white and just make the small brush size and fill up the seed of the okay and then make it black again and brush this portion this portion as well and yeah that's good and now you can adjust the light so go to the adjustment layer and the brightness and contrast options make it mask and decrease the light a little bit add some contrast a little bit so now you're getting the final result of this one and you can make it more uh, just perfect to do mask precisely or more carefully or like this so I think this is easy for you. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching my video tutorial. If you have any kind of question, query or request, please do comment and feel free to comment and ask and just comment on my video comment section. And uh, for the stock resources, please check out my video description. And if you have any kind of request, let me know about that. And you can follow me, my Facebook, my Instagram and the other social medias. So until the next video, I may see my signing out today and bye-bye.